Good afternoon. My name is Ghassan Kridli, and I'm honored and privileged to be here today. I am serving as interim dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Uh, on behalf of Chancellor Domenico Grasso, the administration, faculty, and staff, it is a pleasure to welcome you all to this spring 2021 ceremony, um, commencement ceremony at the University of Michigan Dearborn. Of course, you will hear from Chancellor Grasso a little while in the program. Now, let me ask you, did any of you think we'll be here today in person? All right, yeah. Well, it's been a tough year and a half, but you all met the challenges. We recognize how our students have met the challenges in a less than traditional environment and traditional path. You were forced to follow different ways to get here, but you're all here today and we're proud of you. Typically, we'd all be at Chrysler Center in Ann Arbor celebrating with graduates from all four colleges. However, in order to hold in-person ceremonies, we needed to alter our plans like we have done in all aspects over the past 12 months. So let's embrace today's ceremony as a celebration of your achievements, your perseverance, and adaptability. Hopefully, this is a sign that we are inching back to a more normal world. Today's ceremony recognizes winter and summer graduates of the College of Engineering and Computer Science. We have two other ceremonies, one that went on earlier today and one that is going to be later after this ceremony and the other colleges will hold their ceremonies tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday. However, although we're separated into smaller groups, we're all united in celebrating your great achievements. I now ask that you take a moment to make sure that your cell phones and other devices are shut off or put in silence mode. Thank you. Again, at this time, we ask that you rise and remove your cap for the Star Spangled Banner. Active duty and veterans may keep their caps on while rendering a military salute. I'd like to remind you that today's ceremonies are also live streamed for your loved ones at home. And I'd like to introduce Brahim Mujahid, Professor of Computer and Information Science, Acting Associate Dean for Undergraduate Education, Associate Dean for Academic Programs and Initiatives at the Horace H. Rackham School of Graduate Studies at the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. He will read the names of the graduates today. We will begin today's program with a greeting from UM Regent Sarah Hubbard. Normally, a representative from the UM Board of Regents would be with us in person. However, due to the current precautions, she has recorded a video. The board did not want to miss today's ceremony and congratulate you on your achievements. On behalf of my colleagues on the Board of Regents, 
I'm delighted to join you in this time of celebration. In the past year, we have seen college student experiences transform across the globe. While it has been a challenging time for everyone, it has been especially difficult for those of you nearing the end of your college journey. Although that journey may not have ended the way you expected it to, I'm excited that you now have the opportunity to reflect and cherish these moments in person and safely. Today, we come together to reflect on some of the most memorable years of your lives and celebrate all of your accomplishments. Remember to thank those who have supported you along the way as they too rejoice in your success. As Regents, we've watched you achieve great feats during your time here. And I'm confident that your great U of M Dearborn education has prepared you to make a positive difference on the world. As you leave here today, I encourage you to continually search for the potential in every opportunity and work to overcome roadblocks that may arise along the way. Always remember, we are extremely proud of you and wish you the very best. Congratulations, U of M Dearborn graduates. Good luck and go blue. Thank you, Regent Hubbard. Today's student speaker is Lena Hakim. Lena is a College of Arts, Sciences, and Letters student who will graduate this weekend with a degree in English and a minor in Arab American Studies. She was selected in a competitive application process among her peers to represent her class today. Normally, our student speaker would also be with us in person, but we wanted to spare her from having to share her speech nine times at our nine different ceremonies. Lena, join us today again via video. Greetings, University of Michigan Regents, Chancellor Grasso, Provost Alcock, friends, families, guests, and most importantly, fellow graduates, the class of 2021, those of you streaming in and those of you sitting in today, welcome, and most importantly, congratulations. Now, before I begin any poem I am ever about to read, I always take a moment to thank the person in my life who taught me the importance of sharing my words. My grandfather passed his love of spoken word to me by sharing the words he believed could connect us, even when we were so far apart, entire continents away. These days, we all find ourselves as apart as we have ever felt, but I hope that in sharing my words in the way he taught me to, we are able to connect and celebrate our achievements as the unified continent that makes up this university. Before I begin my recitation, I would like to share a necessary thank you to everyone who has made these last four years leading up to today possible. To all the people who make up this institution, faculty, staff, administration, to the students who walk this campus every semester, from those we met in that very first lecture to those attending or streaming in today. To our families, friends, strangers we met in the hallways, and those we've been Zooming with miles away. And most importantly, today. We must thank ourselves, our bodies and minds for making possible the completion of these achievements we are celebrating. I only hope that with these words I'm about to say, you remember that even in the darkest times we face, it is the words we have learned how to share here that have the power to heal the world. In high school, I was taught to read those who wrote memorable words, that to recite them would be the ladder to propel me to the top of the world, that my future wasn't about what I loved on the inside, but rather how many degrees I had hanging on the outside. Fast forward to when I stepped into my first college class here and the professor asked, who's here for an education? And who's here for a degree? You see, that professor's decree was that you don't belong in this room if your answer is the ladder, because the only ladder that's gonna propel you to the top of your world is the one we care enough to build on our own, whose material is sewn from the matter that comes from deep inside. And I think it was then that I realized these next four years here are my chance to write my own words, that only reciting what I have to say 
can propel me to the top of my world. Now, four years later, we stand here in front of each other, dripping maize and blue, dressed in caps and gowns, symbolic crowns, proof of the different stories each of us has had to write, all the obstacles, big and small, we've had to fight to finally reach this light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, there are those of us whose obstacle was learning English along the way, those of you who studied at 3 a.m. because you were a parent by day, those of us who fought in literal wars, those of us who felt like studying was a literal war between the goals in your heart and the little voices in your head holding you back. There are those of us who made it here whose fight wasn't because of any lack on your part, but because this society looked at you and made it its goal to hold you back. There are those of us here who weren't born in this land, those of us whose parents came here with only a few dollars in their hand. Shout out to my mom and dad who, even when the times got bad, still kept pushing me to write my own words. And there are those of us, many of us, most of us here today, scared and unsure about tomorrow, but to borrow a phrase, there is nothing certain but the uncertain. And I think I speak for us all when I say I am certain that with these last four or however many years it took you to get here, making up a rung on each of our individual ladders, we walk away here today with the ability to recite our own words to change the world hereafter. Congratulations, class of 2021. We may be finished writing here, but our words aren't done. Very nice remarks from Lena. She really represents your class very well. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, also via video, speaker, writer, poet, and teacher, Nikki Giovanni. Nikki Giovanni was born in Knoxville, Tennessee on June 7, 1943, and she grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio. Nikki graduated with honors from Fisk University in 1967. The author of more than two dozen volumes of poetry, essays, and edited anthologies, as well as 11 illustrated children's books, Giovanni has long used her literary gifts to raise awareness of social issues, particularly those of gender and race. Along with several other accolades, she has been awarded an unprecedented seven NAACP Image Awards and was nominated for a Grammy Award in 2004. Giovanni was also a finalist for the National Book Award in 1973, and three of her works have been New York Times and Los Angeles Times bestsellers, which is highly unusual for a poet. She's currently a distinguished professor at Virginia Tech University. April marked the 25th anniversary of National Poetry Month, and this year we saw and heard the power of poetry when Amanda Gorman delivered an inspiring poem at President Biden's inauguration. In her remarks today, Nikki Giovanni acknowledges the path to graduation, the challenges of the past year, and hope for the future. She concludes her remarks with a poem honoring the achievements of our UM Dearborn graduates and contextualizing the spirit of today's ceremony. I now welcome Nikki Giovanni virtually to our ceremony. Thank you for inviting me to congratulate you on this very wonderful occasion. I've always been interested in why this was called graduation and not, for example, finishing. Then I remembered for some of us, not me, but for some of us, it was called finishing school. And I think rather rich girls went to it and they were finished and found wonderful husbands or whatever you find at finishing school and lived happily ever after, except that we know that that's not exactly true. You graduate. You took a step forward. You took a step up. I shouldn't laugh at finishing school. I'm sure someone enjoyed it. You took a step forward. You took a step up. And I'm sure, if you're like me, there are people in heaven sitting in their rocking chair saying, look at my baby. My baby graduated. I'm a Black American woman. And when we were growing up, I'm 77 years old, it was a, a, a pleasure and, and actually very unusual 
to be able to graduate from kindergarten. So kindergarten was a very, very, very big deal. And we wore our white dresses and we wore our little lace shoes and socks. And our grandmothers came and everybody said, oh, look at my baby. She graduated from kindergarten. And as time went on, we graduated from eighth grade and everybody came and there was a party after when everybody was so proud. Look at my baby, graduated from eighth grade. And by the time, if you were lucky, and many of us were not, we graduated from high school. Many of us had to go to work to help our parents to take care of the family. Many of us had to take care of other situations that we ran into. But high school was very important. Now we have you and you're graduating from college. Some of you will go on and get degrees. We'll get PhD, MFs, A's, PhDs, or get whatever you went, whatever step forward you can take. But what's important, at least to me, is that we all have to remember there was a time when people like us were forbidden for going to college, were forbidden to read and write. It was against the law for us to do that. Being a citizen is an incredibly important thing. We should be proud, and I hope you are, of the taxes that you pay. I think it's important to remember that what you've done is a good thing. I think it's important for you to remember that if you are and you are a citizen, you have not only rights but responsibilities. So you not only pay taxes, but you sign up so that you can vote when you decide to drive a car, you go and get a driver's license. And in my opinion, at that point, you should also have your, your voter registration. We have in the future, or for our future, quite a bit to think of how we want to conduct our lives. Speaking of folks sitting up in heaven, we are not. We're sitting here on earth doing the best that we can. We all do what we can to move people forward. It's a pleasure for me to congratulate you today on your step. 2021 was not so bad. There have been worse things. There have been times that ignorance has controlled this nation. There have been times that hatred has controlled the world. But putting the world in your hands, that you have something to say about what we're gonna do. And you can't be too busy or too tired. You are a part of the community we've been building. It's very important that you take your responsibility seriously, that you learn to love what you have to do, that you learn to appreciate yourself and your community, that you learn to know this is what I need, not this, and that you learn to love the people who love you and to not love the people who don't love you. You can't love everybody, so you need to be sure you pick and choose. I think college is a good idea. I'm glad that you are graduating. I think life is a good idea. I would like to live 10 more years if I can, but I don't control my time. I only control what I do with my time. And I'm hoping that you control what you do with your time, that you use it and yourself wisely, that you learn to appreciate yourself and the people who love you wisely. I wish you the best. Congratulations to all of you. And thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of you today. I join in gentle sadness and silent tears, the pride of the class of 2021 in accepting their duty. I join the unheard steps across the stage and the shouts when the diploma is put in your hand. I join the bravery of the class of 2021 in understanding some gave their health, some gave their lives, some gave their possibility of kindness because of the selfishness of others. I join 
understanding of forgiveness. I joined the writing students in writing about their first kiss. I joined them in the heartbreak when he is gone. I joined the laughter after a winning football game and the pouch when, as it were, Casey at the bat finally almost even the score. I join our parents who struggled to make a day possible that is not possible, that will always be possible because hope is the possibility. I join all of us on the struggle to be better, to be a better nation through the betterment of ourselves. I join those who hope our campuses will find the room for a monument to celebrate those youngsters. Most of our monuments honor those who cannot know that we praise them. I join those who praise the living. The class of 2021 has been gracious and brave. I join all of us all over the globe who applaud their sacrifice. Congratulations to the class of 2021. I join the sun shining for your warmth and the rain quenching your thirst. Spring will come and winter will be embraced. I join all people of goodwill to wish you congratulations. Thank you for letting me join you. Education is a meaningful, a meaningful situation. I join everyone in wishing you the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. Chancellor Grasso, today we're honoring students who will have completed all academic requirements for graduate and undergraduate degrees at the University of Michigan Dearborn. Candidates for degrees are recommended by their faculties and presented before you today. Will the candidates for the graduate degrees through the College of Engineering and Computer Science please rise when their degree is named? Master of Science. Please remain standing, remain standing. Master of Science in Engineering. Will the candidates receiving their baccalaureate degrees through the College of Engineering and Computer Science please rise as their degree is named? Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Thank you, you may sit down. It is now my pleasure to invite our Chancellor, Domenico Grasso, to the podium to address the class of 2021. Thank you, Dean Cridley. Welcome. I know for many of you, this may be the first time you've been on back on campus for over a year, and for what a great reason. Today, you become graduates of the University of Michigan Dearborn. Today, May 1st, is a day that you'll always remember because it is the day that you first began to forget everything you learned in college. And some of you overachievers may have even gotten a head start on this. But what Mark Twain said is really what matters. What is left over is your ability to think, and that is your true education. Although we are in multiple smaller groups, it is wonderful to be able to see everyone and celebrate your accomplishments in person. The class of 2021, the effort, the commitment you have demonstrated over the past year to graduate is nothing short of remarkable, and it will leave a lasting imprint on our university. You are now great examples of some of U of M Dearborn's defining characteristics, toughness, determination, and the drive to get the job done. There was no way the pandemic would defeat you. 
I know you will carry those attribu attributes with you as you head toward the bright futures you have ahead. I also want to acknowledge those who have joined us today. These are the people who have supported you as you work towards your degrees. All of us should always remember the support systems that have helped us in our achievements. Please, anyone here who has helped these graduates get to where they are today, please stand and be recognized by our graduates and university leaders. Parents, please stand. Friends, family, graduates, give them a big round of applause. Thank you. The class of 2021 is going to contribute great things to our community. All of you will be vital to how we recover from this horrible pandemic, both economically and socially. I am confident that you will take the knowledge and skills that you've learned at U of M Dearborn and build a better tomorrow. Now, will all the graduate, all the candidates, you're not graduates yet, will all the candidates for graduation please rise? If you have a cap and gown on, please rise. I will lead you now in the official crossover from student to alumni, and then you will be asked to come forward for public recognition. By the authority of the state of Michigan, vested in the regents of this university, and by them delegated to me, I now confer upon you the degrees which you have been recommended by your faculties, together with the rights, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. I now welcome you to the Society of Learned Men and Women and to the work you are about to do and the service you are obliged to render. Just as your future successes will reflect upon us, our reputation will reflect upon you. Now, for the moment that you've been waiting for and worked so hard to get to. You may now turn your tassels from right to left. And congratulations, graduates. OK, you may be seated. Welcome to the over 630,000 alumni Michigan family. Congratulations. Forever, go blue. Go Dearborn, and in a few minutes, go celebrate. <laughs> Thank you, Chancellor Grasso. Graduates, you are now invited to come forward and receive public recognition but please wait for the ushers to guide you to, through the ceremony. Ushers will be calling graduates and their guests to the stage. You will be from the back row and move forward. You will be dismissed after, the, after you leave the stage. And graduates, please pose for a picture for your parents and loved ones. Atharv Godham Gauka. Aniket Laley. Molik Gala. Aditya Gandhi. Vinayaka Manjunatha Malia. D. 
Deepak Misuru Hirana. Naveen Awais. Hussein Arishud. Nirali Salia. Nasr Nasr. Tariq as Sunnah. Maryam Bitar Qasim Bazi Alexandra Lazaros Haytham Kashu That's fine. Take your time. Take your time. I'll Yep, sure. Yep. Zifei Wong. Snehal Ukurandi. Take a picture over there. Darshana Srikant Kargi. Vamsi Nindra. Congratulations. Aka DJ Ricky Rain. Karam Alua Shukri Al Ward Sheikh Sheikh Atisam. Akil Reddy Saba Pathy. Imad Abu Hassan. Congratulations. Noor Nasser. Congratulations. Daniel Nichols. Congratulations. Matthew Falconer. Munir Abdullah.
Congratulations. Ahmed Halmi. Kudrut Rabi. Ronal Beliapa. Sadak Ali. Hey, how are you? Congratulations. Hussein Nouraddin. Congratulations. Arshil Kumar Patel. Congratulations. Alexander Kenny. Shivani Patel. Congratulations. Son Guyoti. Congratulations. Janatul Fardaus. Maya Yassin. Congratulations. Ali Baydoun. Maher Muthanna. Manisha Mishra. Nuruduha Siddiqui. Dejaleen. Usaid Salem. Brandon Phelan. Congratulations. Krista Phillips. Congratulations. Gith Al Musalli. Ritoshri Gupta. Congratulations. Sumeya Tasneem. Congratulations. Wayman Lemon. Aya Bazi. Congratulations. 
questions. Miguel Garcia. Congratulations. Safwan Thabit. Congratulations, hello. Matthew Joseph. Glad to see you. Sarah Ibrahim. Michael Parr. You have the card. Frank Burrito. Frank Burrito. Congratulations. Kelly McConnell. Congratulations. Aggie Dihamantis. Hyung Du. Congratulations. Nabil Ahmed. I have you in my class, right? I had you in my class. Yeah. <laughs> Nicholas Kessy. Rasegna Vaca. Congratulations. Ismail Nashwan Al Hamdi. Congratulations. Brooke McLean. Congratulations. John Joseph. Jenny Wynn. Congratulations. Anita Olojo. John Gillis. Is the Dean Qasim? Thank you. Lane. Nicholas Lane. Robert Reed. Congrats. Stephen Balto. Congrats. Rami Saad. Congrats. Moyer. Noah Moyer. Ahmed Yassin. Right. 
Ariane Fadi. Congrats. Saeed. Mohammed Saeed. Rushikesh Vishnu Kirikar. Congratulations. I can take that. Erica Hall. Congratulations. Shaila Smalls. Iman Jafir. Congratulations. Aditya Sadashiva Rao. Congratulations. Andrew Nall. Jay Baines. Congrats. Al Salt Salim Saeed Al Bahri. Congratulations. Caroline Mahalak. <laughs> Congratulations. Nicholas Damel. Hey, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Nahreen Sharna. Congrats. Muhammad Abdul Salani. Al Sadi. Al Asadi. Abdul Al Asadi. Caroline. Yeah. Congrats, Caroline. Caroline Neighbors. Christopher Daptula. Congrats. Talia Trella. Talia Trella. Congrats. Cameron Corkery. Congrats. Kaikendal. Nicholas Kaikendal. Caroline. Caroline Ham. Congrats. Lucas Phillips. Lucas Philip. Congrats. Colin. Colin. McLeod. McLeod. Congrats again. Yeah. 
Colin McLaughlin. Garrett Calls. All right, congratulations, graduates. This concludes our ceremony.